Well, anyway, um, of course, calling me a faggot is not necessarily an extraordinary claim, but it does require some proof. So, um, yeah, present your evidence. Um, again, based on stereotypes is not necessarily the best way to go. Um, there are, so, there are um, straight-acting gays out there. Um, so, yeah, anyway, like I said, uh, you know, like I said, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of weird arguing from all this, and, uh, you know, if, uh, if you want to present some logic to me or what have you, do it. Um, otherwise, don't bother. You know, it's, you know, it's not really, it's not really worth my time and yours to go on about this. Um, on the other hand, the only reason that I'm doing this video is, and I will find that, uh, say this in summation, is because of the fact that, um, I have more important things to do, but I'm fine, but I want to get this, uh, cleared up once and for all. Um, I want to explain the logic again, and, uh, you know, if people are going to claim that my disorder is just based on that, um, you know, and probably if I know, uh, if I know somebody like, uh, uh, Pepe, uh, P.P. Peron or, uh, P uh, Paron or something like that, I think, yeah, P.P. Paron, I think is how, or, or P -P Paron, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how his name's pronounced, uh, I apologize if I mispronounced the name, but anyway, um, whichever, uh, you know, if, um, you know, I mean, presumably he could go into conspiracy theories and say like, oh, you faked that, you typed that up yourself, but then I'd have to go, well, no, because I don't have a background in psychology, and they go, no, well, then you got someone else to type it up and fake it for you, and I'm going, yeah, but I mean, what psychologists would actually try to fake a diagnosis on the grounds that they could possibly get caught for that, and, you know, then they could get sued later, you know, if it ever got found out, you know, it's not worth, it's not worth risking uh, their professional, worth risking their career for, you know, I mean, the, and besides, Occam's razor would suggest, you know, you, you could go into a whole big thing about a conspiracy, you know, about me having done some sort of conspiracy theory to fake the evidence, but, you know, Occam's razor, which is more likely, that I'm actually doing something like that, or that, um, genuinely, uh, that just genuinely, um, I do have Asperger's syndrome, uh, and, you know, and that's where a lot of this behavior, you know, a lot of my in, uh, you know, in-your-face type talking, and, you know, uh, the way I speak comes from, and, as for the way that I put all the ahs and ums in, that's my attempt at giving a pause to keep my thoughts slow, try to keep it coherent. Um, you know, it's an Aspie trying to communicate uh, in terms that ver that neurotypicals can understand. Um, you know, just two very different systems of thought trying to communicate. Anywho, um, so yeah, that pretty much covers it. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I think that uh, I think I've pretty well covered this issue once and for all. Um, if uh, you know. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to be continuing on with uh, my science videos and uh, more uh, parapsych videos because I've got a crap load I've still got to do there. Um, I've also got a crap load I've got to work on in terms of my exams and the like. Um, I've also got a professional magic gig I've got to get uh, back up and running again. I've uh, taken a bit of a sabbatical, you know, I've had to take a bit of a hiatus. Uh, um, you know, I do it during the summers, but I have to take a hiatus dur uh, during the school term, of course, to uh, continue on with my work. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I've got a... Uh, I've got work and school and other things I've got to take care of and, and, and my other videos and you know I've got more important things to do than be constantly trying to uh, repeat um, myself over and over again as to uh, what the critical thinking fallacies are uh, and where the illogic is and a lot of the spamming so I've already done that in a couple of videos you can go back and refer to them if you want um, if you're looking for examples of where these critical thing uh, you know if you're looking for references for critical thinking fallacies um, you can go to uh, any bookstore uh, at any uh, university and uh, you can find a book on uh, critical thinking, uh, Introduction to Critical Thinking. Um, both the uh, inductive and deductive fallacies are given there. Um, the means for interpreting uh, statistics to avoid biased statistics and, you know, biased mathematics. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Go look up the rest of your so the sources yourself. Um, as for my videos, um, generally I'll give references, or if, uh, you know, if I haven't put them up in the summary, uh, give me a, a message and I'll send you my references uh, by, uh, by message uh, link directly. Um, yeah, other than that, that pretty much covers it. So, you know, uh, or if I haven't referenced it in one bit, uh, if, re if I haven't referenced it in the video, but I've said look at my other videos, chances are I've referenced it there as well. So, yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, uh, to everyone else who is, uh, to, uh, to all my faithful subscribers, and to anybody who is uh, want, uh, watching with just an open, inquiring mind on any particular issue and is just uh, honestly interested in just uh, expanding their horizons a little bit on any particular issue or uh, interested in uh, taking a look at my work and then correcting it if I've made an error, um, you know, or is interested in just open discussion to, you know, expand, uh, expand the, uh, the horizons of uh, human understanding and knowledge, feel free to uh, comment and take a watch of the videos. Uh, spammers, uh, you know, you can spam, but is it really worth your time and trouble to do that? 
I mean, there's probably a whole bunch of other uh, ways you could probably spam each other or go spam some other videos of somebody else. You know, I'm only one person on all of YouTube, so, um, yeah, you know, and if you want, and, uh, by the way, if your spams do get bad enough, I will be blocking you, um, but that's just a matter of policy. I will give, uh, you know, I will give a chance for people, you know, say after one or two, to, uh, you know, I will give a chance for people to try to correct themselves, um, you know, if they're wanting to leave, like, a single spam or what have you, you know, that's their that's their business, I guess you know. But you know, after a while, if they keep if they keep at it for a while, uh, Rohamid has been blocked, by the way, because of the fact that he's kept at it for two, uh, you know he's kept at it with the same logic for a while. He said like you failed to refute my logic, you know, after I put up two videos of this. So it's sort of like you know what, nah, I you know I just blocked the guy afterwards because it's just sort of like you know what, this guy is continuing to flame, and it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. The only reason I responded was to try to help correct uh, some of the argue uh, some of. To help point out that he was using ad hominem attacks, and I will admit it gave me a laugh, um, you know, and uh, you know various other critical thinking fallacies. Um, you know, I, I I mentioned this. You know, I tried to uh, pr uh, extend the hand of logic, uh, of you know, of of, re of, of reason, and uh, you know, of literal reason, uh, and the like. And um, you know, uh, he uh, he at least came across as rejecting it. He. Uh, proceeded to go on, so along with the others, and you know, all the other spammers have done so, and that's their choice, you know. Um, in short, I don't want to repeat myself too much. I'm just going to um, summarize by saying, spammers, get a life. Do you, uh, you know, uh, you know, if anyone, if anything, uh, you're the ones who are, um, you know, you're the ones who have the. Uh, you know, who have the, uh, who are taking times out of whatever you are to, uh, if you have nothing better to do than attempt to wind people up and spam them, and no three long videos, and no three long videos does not necessarily mean that I'm, uh, that I'm, uh, you know, automatically, uh, you know, does not necessarily mean that I'm, uh, automatically, uh, whatchamacallit, um, getting wound up or what have you. Uh, PPP Perone, I'm actually going to say to his credit, is not a spammer. I mean, in his case, he actually is trying to, uh, in this case, he actually is, uh, you know, trying to say something uh, relatively logical, you know, based on his own opinion of the literature. So, um, you know, from that, um, you know, from that, I've presented evidence to counter his point. But you know, he's he's not a spammer. To to his credit, PPP Peron, uh, you know, PPP uh, uh, Peron is a, uh, you know, was being legit. To it, you know, to his credit, he was attempting a legitimate argument, and and what you know was making a legitimate argument. It was. You know, it was wrong. You know, like I said, I've got the evidence right here. But you know, uh, you know, to his credit, you know, he was doing a, a good argument, and I will, you know, and I will give him that. You know, um, you know, actually, if anything, uh, for people trying to counter me, if you're looking for good arguments, um, follow his example. He uh, commented on my video: um, "Re advanced oral se uh, advanced sex ed oral request viewer request, uh, you know, oral sex viewer request." So yeah, so like I said, look at it there. Um, you know, if you're looking for good examples of how to counter my points, or how to, you know, or, or how to try to, uh, you know, uh, question any of, uh, you know, any of the stuff I say about myself on YouTube, um, you know, I'll send you examples of stuff that was quite good, you know, uh, of stuff that tried to counter me. You know, by all means, if you're if you're looking for good stuff, you know, there there is plenty of it on my videos. There's also a whole bunch of spam. So just take everything, you know, just go read through it all with a critical eye. Read through all the comments, watch my videos, watch the video responses, watch the videos I respond to, and make up your minds on the issues I'm talking about. It's, you know, try to get as much information on it as possible. And also, don't forget to go read the peer-reviewed sources and any countering sources as well. The more widely read you are, chances are the more be the better off your bit you'll be when you're trying to make a decision on any particular issue. The better, the more informed, the better, eh? Anyway, toodles!